views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. This show's audio was via a Skype call. The truth is funny. With Colette Steffen, we'll have you thinking outside the box and riding the wave of infinite potential. Join Colette on the Higher Self Network as she provides energetic shifts and consistent results in every area of life, inspiring listeners to shine their brilliance and ensure success. Many people who shift out of limiting beliefs roar with laughter as they recognize the humor of the giant cosmic joke. The truth is funny. Shift happens. Feel instant relief. Stay tuned for more fun and release struggle and suffering. And now, here's your host, Colette Steffen. Today, your guest host, Karen Benton, is here. Karen is a mother, nurse practitioner, certified body talk practitioner, Franklin Method instructor, and owner of Limitless Living LLC. Joyful, abundant, and bursting with energy. Here is your guest host, Karen Benton. Uh, Good morning and almost good afternoon to some of you out there. This is Karen Benton, and welcome to The Truth is Funny on Transformation Talk Radio. I am filling in for Colette today and every third Wednesday of the month. Stay tuned for the next hour because you won't believe it. Guess who my guest is? Colette. We like (laughs) reverse roles every once in a while, or it seems to be every other month. Uh, So join us because Shift happens every Wednesday at 8 a.m. live on the airwaves and in the archives at thetruthisfunny.com, transformationtalkradio.com, and at transformationradio.fm. The energetic shifts are still accessible through the Higher Shift Network. So if you're listening later, the coding is out there for you to get the same amount of strength and uplift that you get if you were listening live. So it is my pleasure to share life-transforming information and provide you with an opportunity to call in and delete energetic weaknesses to shift challenges into possibilities. We love to hear from you. So feel free, please call us 1-800-930-2819. My guest today is the amazing host of this show, Colette Stefan. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, um, Karen. <laughs> so it's here, I, yeah, I, you know, I, I was about to give you a nice long bio and I thought you have so many things going on. I would love to just start the show with you sharing. What are the highlights that we all can connect into that you are, you know, involved in right now in your well, amazing, <laughs> ever-changing life? Because I know the dragons are so big and I would love to hear about that from you. Oh, it's awesome. I um, started painting Tales from the Vector, which is um, an oracle um, with dragons. And I started painting it 12 years ago almost now. And I just finished another 16 cards. That um, And so there's only four left to paint. Now, the dragons are big dragons. (laughs) They're three by four paintings and they have crystal energy and they have Swarovski crystals embedded in them. And they've got Oh, they've got all sorts of things to say. <laughs> yeah. And so, um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm really excited because I only have four left to do. And I have the 16 new ones. at the They're at the printers right now. Mm. And I'm, you know, in, I've, I've started my new call to dance program. And I'm having my, uh, there's seven layers to it, actually. But the, it's really, um, I love it. I love, I love doing the, um, teaching the material this way because my coloring books or my manuals are coloring books kind of like those anatomy ones. And so right now I'm working on the layer three manual and I just like to have fun with it. It's, it's just mm. um, really, really been a, um, like kind of a labor of love here. <laughs> yeah. And so I've been doing that and I've been at the holistic fair, um, uh, which is in Kelowna here. And, um, um, every, uh, it's on the, usually on the Sunday, the third Sunday of the month or the fourth Sunday of the month. And so I'll be back there on April 22nd. And then I'm also, um, going to be at the, um, I have a video out there at, um, mountain spirit festival. Um, that's an event 
page. And if anyone out there wants to like and share my video, it's just it's to promote the event and to also um, have people um, know what's going to be going on. And that will be in June. And so mm -hmm. I also have a new program coming out called uh, I just love this Be Irresistible. Mm -hmm. And um, this is a teleshifting seminar that is um, going to, it's a, it's a telespa. <laughs> so nice. there's, um, that should be out in the next uh, month. I'm starting that in May and I also have the float your boat and yeah, I've been very, very busy. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> like yeah. Just, just um, you know, really lots of really amazing things happening. And I'm so excited because in September I, will be um, having my first layer four, which is officially the Dragon Sayers. And mm -hmm. so I will have probably a dozen people already that are like Dragon Sayers. <laughs> mm -hmm. And that is so cool. That is <laughs> yeah, so, so cool. <laughs> it, it, you know, it's been a long, um, a lot of, um, a long journey through this. As I said, I started the Tales from the Vector 12 years ago and all the information coming together. And I just wanted to also say, I have a new Facebook page up. And that is for Tales from the Vector. So if people are listening um, to this show, um, we can, I'm going to share the card that I picked, you know, for, for the yeah. show. Um, not, I didn't do it yet because I just, we just got the page up two days ago. And yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, other than that, like, yeah, that's what I've been busy with. <laughs> you know, I saw that page and um, it's kind of, I'm kind of getting a little inspiration of where we can go with it. So the title of today's show is Finding Courage and Hope in Conflict. And one of the areas that we were even discussing before the show is kind of the bad rap that conflict gets. And as annoying as it can be when you're in conflict, looking at it from a different light can really be quite powerful. So I wanted to ask you, Colette, while you, you know, all, you've been doing these, these dragons for 12 years, you know, and you could ca categorize that in so many different ways, like, wow, what a long time. Or two, you could look at it like, wow, that must be an amazing process. And so one of the things I want to ask you is I bet during these 12 years, there's times where you felt sort of the conflict or the pressure to maybe get those dragons out or to be further along than you are or to be, you know, more out there than you are. And if you would share maybe how you've dealt with that and what the experience has been for you. Well, for me, yes. <laughs> um, as I said, the dragons are big. And when they first came to me, I was like, the first one came to me, I was like, um, you know, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be doing this, but they kept coming. Like I see pictures of them and then some of my students were seeing pictures of them and people see them all over now. And I feel like this is a very, very, because these cards, these paintings are um, not just like an Oracle deck because it's not complete. They're, they're energy correcting cards. So the whole time that I am working on this deck and working on these paintings, I'm shifting energy and I generally am doing it for the, what I'm picking up for the multiverse or what's going on in my day. And you know, the um, I, last year I finished um, a dragon and her name is Courage. And she's Ooh, from the hey, solar... wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't listen. Yeah. yeah, and so she's uh, the solar plexus dragon, right? And um, that one took me three years. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> three well, years. Because cool. it, was, you know, it was just, um, um, I was working through my issues that I was holding in my solar plexus. Beautiful. And yeah, and, and so beautiful. And yeah. what, what I love, um, and one of the things I learned, you know, through knowing you these years was that, you know, these dragons are unknown, right? They just come to you and then you draw them, right? right. Like it's, it's not like, you know, the traditional outlook on business and health is that we have to have a plan and everything has to be set out. And here you are, drawing these amazingly powerful dragons, of which I have two, one in my office and one in my daughter's room. Um, and it's really coming out of what many of us would say is an unorthodox approach to, you know, if you want to call it a business, but that doesn't seem like the name for it, but an unorthodox approach to your career and purpose in life. And maybe share a little bit more about how you go from having no idea to just doing it, right? Like, do you are you do you wake up in the morning and you see the dragon and then you do it and you wait? Yeah, for that they bug me. <laughs> <laughs> I found that you can't ignore a dragon. <laughs> um, you know, you can try to ignore a dragon, like I did for three years with that one. 
Yeah. But, you know, to be con like, uh, like I've been, you know, it, it, it's been such a beautiful journey for me because I think part of it is, is that they've always come with unconditional love. Mm -hmm. And I've told it, I don't know if I've even told this story that, you know, when I was out, <clears throat> I was out in Tulum, Mexico with the Resonance Project Foundation and I was doing their emissary program back then. I think that was five or six years ago. And um, the music that came to me when I first started for six months, I kept hearing this music and it was John Anderson and John Vangelis is friends of Mr. Cairo, which is a CD. And that music, I was, it was driving everybody nuts because I listened to it over and over and over again. And then like, wow, like, you know, like 10 years later, I'm out at the, the, um, or I guess it was eight years later, I'm out at this, um, you know, studying with all these wonderful physicists and John Anderson is going to be playing down the road, you know, like just um, a free concert half an hour down the road at the beach. And, and Nassim Haramine had passes, four, four passes to meet him. And um, I got to talk to him and talk to him about the dragons. Mm -hmm. I mean, th those are the kind of coincidences that happened to me, <laughs> um, you know, um, to be like somewhere like that and then have, um, you know, the dragons, they just show up. <laughs> and yeah. now that um, people have been, been working with them, with these cards for two years, I get people reporting back to me all the time, like about this happened and that happened. And it's uncanny. Yeah. How when uh, we're at the psychic fair, people will choose the same card. Like maybe fifty people will choose. Right. Um, Thirty of them will choose the same card, even if it's resonating. Yeah. Yeah. Now, yeah. did you ever have a period of time where they weren't coming? You know, over these twelve years. Absolutely. Like, was... They only show up when at the most inconvenient times when I'm the most busy. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love that. And I think for our listening community, it's such a, it's such a beautiful. Um, expression to to invite all of us if we're in that space of feeling that we're you know one not doing enough right or we need to be somewhere else other than where we are you know courage and hope is one thing but patience and trust and i you know there's so many bloody words that you could use bloody that's such an english term but you know so many words that you could use and they're triggering for some people right faith trust opening to the unknown um and what was the word that you were using earlier? Skatoma. We talked. We said we'd talk about that when we came back from the break. So yeah, yeah. So cool. Anyway, so we are, of course, all the way up to a break. It always goes so fast when I'm here with Colette. So uh, you are listening to the Truth Is Funny on Transformation Talk Radio, and we will be back in just a minute. What if your body and mind were the compasses to the secrets, mysteries, and magic of life? Glenna Rice, co-host of The Questionable Parent, is inviting you to access all that is possible. Glenna is a 10-year certified veteran access consciousness facilitator who offers an amazing variety of life-changing classes and workshops. Work with Glenna from anywhere with teleclasses and workshops all over the globe. To learn more and see Glenna's current schedule of events, classes, and workshops, visit GlennaRice.com. What is a brilliant culture, and how do we create them? Why are they important? Claudette Rowley has created a breakthrough five-step process to help you align your culture with your business strategy for exceptional results. Looking for a culture that drives organizational excellence? Listen to Cultural Brilliance Radio, the second and fourth Friday of each month at 10 a.m. Pacific and 1 p.m. Eastern on Transformation Talk Radio. To learn more or work with Claudette, visit culturalbrilliance.com. Wow. Hey, everyone. Welcome. Uh, welcome to the Dr. Pat Show. This is Talk Radio to Thrive By. I'm telling you, I got to pinch myself some days because when each of us gets called to do something that we so not thought was in our real house to do for a purpose that's so much greater than us, we get to show up and shine. If you would like to show up and shine on the Dr. Pat Show as a co-host or sponsor, send us an email to inspire at the Dr.
Tune in to The Truth is Funny with Colette Stephan each Wednesday at 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This hit show will have you thinking outside the box and riding the wave of infinite potential. Join Colette on the Higher Self Network, inspiring listeners to shine their brilliance and ensure success while roaring with laughter as they recognize the humor of the giant cosmic joke. Visit TheTruthIsFunny.com. Thrive is what we experience when our mind, body, and soul operate as one. When we thrive, we excel on all levels. Thrive is the mindset that matters. It is essential to our being. Have you ever found yourself looking for the instruction manual on how to thrive? You'll find everything you need to help you feel strong, powerful, and peaceful in your own body. So don't waste any more time. Visit thrivebygen.com today. Gifted intuitive healer and spiritual teacher, Sarah Luce, brings her unique style to the hit show, Small Steps, Big Breakthrough Radio, on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Tune in each month as Sarah turns reality on end and shows us how to experience expansive results with simple yet powerful steps. Expect an enlightening bend on what you currently believe is possible. For show details and upcoming topics, visit SarahLoose.com. That's S-A-R-A-L-O-O-S.com. So we are back on The Truth is Funny. I am Karen Benton, and I am filling in for Colette today. My guest today is Colette Stefan. Uh, before we continue, can you please share your contact information, Colette, with the group? Absolutely. Um, the truth is funny.com, tales, T-A-I-L-S, from the vector.com. And the social media is um, The Truth is Funny with Colette. And now the Tales from the Vector. (laughs) I got lots of Facebook pages going on. We can find you in lots of different ways. Yeah, yeah. Uh, So fantastic. So we were just sort of touching on that space that we often go to, uh, which I still would categorize as conflict. That, you know, when we're faced with that, I'm not feeling like I'm enough or I'm not, you know, contributing enough to myself or to the world, or I need to be something or somewhere other than where I am. And uh, Colette, I wanted you uh, to share your insight as you did about the process that you've had with these amazing dragons that you've been creating. But at the same time, you can offer us the experience of exploring this, uh, what we would say, challenge or conflict through the use of your dragon, through the use of your cards. Yes. Um, well, like for instance, this morning I drew one for the radio show, which I do, and I drew the Skatoma card, which it always, it's so, it, it happens all the time at the, the psychic fair. And when people come by and they always say, oh my, you know, our table's always so busy and people are always crying. Yeah. <laughs> because uh, a lot of people will pick the card, they'll look at it and they'll just break down and cry. Um, because uh, it, it, it hits uh, like their heart, you know, um, yeah. and this happens more times than, you know, like it's, we're, we're used to it now, <laughs> but yeah. the card scotoma is basically, we have different traits about ourselves that we don't necessarily, that we can't see, but mm-hmm. others can. And so we all have that where there's something about us that we can't see, you know, and, um, you know, one of the things that was coming up, um, just when at the fair was that a lot of the 20 something year olds feel a little bit like they're telling me they feel lost. Like they, they don't, things didn't turn out the way they thought they would. And so part of the scotoma is that they can't even see how beautiful they are. And Mm. quite often, you know, um, or sometimes people will have a scotoma where um, uh, they, they can see something about themselves, but other people can't see it, or they really know deeply about something about themselves and other people can't see it. You know, and then there could be a situation where neither person, the person can't see it and, uh, um, and no one else can. Yeah. And then there's another scotoma where everybody can see it, everybody. And so these can be really beautiful things. And I'm getting that they happen at different ages more than anything. Like, and as we step into our power and as we're working on, I always have the big vision in the background, always. Um, like I, I've always known, like the dragons came like, you know, 12 years ago and I didn't even bring them up for about seven or eight years because I thought I better, um, gain some, um, 
you know, um, professionalism first. I wrote a book, I did the seminars and that, and I kind of put them on the back burner and it was a project that I was working gradually on. And at the, at, when I first started, I had no idea that 12 years later, I'd be doing this with it. You know? Right. Right. Yeah. Hey, well, fantastic. It seems like we have some callers. So, uh, Carter, maybe we could take the first caller. Yeah. Uh, hey, Joanna, you are on the air. Hi, Joanna. Welcome to The Hello. Truth is Funny. Hi. Hi. I'm Fred. I'm Karen. Hi. How are you this morning? How are you? Oh, good, good. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to call last week, but because of the time change, I just like, I realized, you know, it's calling an hour later. It's like, oh my God, I hate this time of the year when there's like, you know, those changes of time. <laughs> Yeah, a yeah. lot of people but, um, are expressing that about the time change. It it that it really I like mean, it, no, but, yeah, like sorry, but because what I mean is you've got it early in Canada and I'm in UK and I've got it like two weeks later. So I'm yeah, and isn't it isn't it Mother's Day in the UK right now? Oh, is it, it Mother? I mean, in Poland it went well. It was uh, I think last Sunday, and in uh, Poland yeah. it's like 26th of May. So every country, I think, it's got different. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what, what can what we can do? What can we have yeah. for me? <laughs> so what can yeah. we help you with? Um, yes, um, Colette knows that I've been calling every now and then uh, for for um, uh, for shifts. And uh, um, I've called uh, the other day to change, uh, you know, to find a nice flat. And I found, and now uh, I needed uh, some jobs and uh, financial, uh, you know, changes in my life. And it seems like slowly, slowly it's coming <laughs> to this point. All right. Awesome. Yes, this is exactly, I, isn't I this do, perfect? I mean, this, is, this is exactly what we're talking yes. about. Yeah. So, yes, you know. I think so, because I didn't mean to call today. <laughs> but I, um, so what's happening, I'm just going for like my uh, first like um, one like night shift just to get like a small job done and it's like all of a sudden I have this fee inside me oh my god it's happening I've been waiting for changes for such a long time and I was happy it's like oh my god you know it's like um, uh, it's you know it's like it's like thinking like uh, do I really want that it's like I was so yeah. comfortable you know yeah. my dreams yeah. So you know that's so common. So, hey, when people are getting close to what they want or what they said they wanted, yes. and they almost get it, yes. that's when they have a tendency to be triggered. Yes. So we want to just get you really strong to go into this job, yes. like, and so on a scale of zero to ten, where are you on that scale? Uh, I think I'm around five. Okay. Mm. So, so Karen, you know, like you've been, I can feel you correcting here. <laughs> what are you picking up? I, well, you know, it's funny. I think the thing that comes up for you, for most of us, for all of us, or even when I hear your story is, is the fear of the unknown, right? Like we feel that we're comfortable in what we know and the things that we're familiar with and we're about to embark on something new. It brings up the reality that we really never know what's going to happen, right? but there's times that we focus on it more than others. So I just want to strengthen you as sort of what was coming up to the collective experience with the unknown misinterpreting <laughs> to be something that turned out to be bad, mm -hmm. right? And it's this idea that the conflict was what, you know, was what, you know, it's like, I was the same until that happened to me, that moment, right? That time that I went to the, that, party and things went bad, or I got that job and things went bad, as if that was bringing up, if that's where we went wrong, versus that was our broadest and most powerful source of opportunity to become more and more authentically ourselves, right? So as you, you know, engage in this job and go into this job, can you visualize yourself being the most authentic and true version of you? You know, just showing up, purely radiating the essence of who and what you are, which has nothing to do with what you do, right? D-O, it has everything to do with what you already are, which is ultimately, you know, love or any of those words that we want to say. So that, that's really what came to me. Yeah, and what's the weakness that um, is coming up that I've been picking up in general for a lot of people, and today, like, today is like the first day of spring, but it feels like winter here. What about there, Karen? You have a snow day. Yeah, my kids are home from school. It's a snow day. It's and 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 what about you out there, Joanna? Is it like normal spring there oh, yet? It's, it's really it's sunny and it's 
sunny today. It's really pleasant. So send it's some of that really our nice way. Sunny day. <laughs> Yes, yeah, yes. yeah, we've I mean, had a lot send of us snow. snow next winter. Yeah, yeah. yeah so we're gonna I'd, s- like to, I'd like to have some snow. <laughs> but what's stay. coming up is what's coming up for you is just like getting to and from work. Like, so when someone are do- if you're doing something new, one thing that I get people to do is just you know you want to see yourself doing it, and so you can break anything down into teeny weeny pieces that you that are palatable that you can um, actually accomplish. And so, um, you know, I energetically, you know, tune into yourself and recognize that as you walk out of the house, like getting first, what's coming up is getting ready for work. And so what are you telling yourself as you're getting ready for work? Okay, at this new job. Oh, I hope I don't suck. That's not a good one. Um, You want to say, you know, be saying like, I'm, you know, like really getting yourself strong to go into this job and strong to it's, it's coming up. The conflict is coming from the fears of when we were in school and we didn't get it right. And we're called on in class and our, you know, we put, we, we put our hand up and then we get the answer wrong. So that's coming up. And so just being okay with recognizing this is your first day of work at a new job. And they, um, the thing is they don't expect you to be absolutely perfect from the first moment. And so that's what's coming up for you right now is this perfection thing. And so being okay with um, having a little imperfection on your first day at work. I'm not having to um, be the hero. You know what I'm saying? So just getting you strong to that. Like it's okay to be, you know, to um, take it in at the pace that you um, are um, able to. And so um, just showing up with a really good attitude is means more to most people showing up on time. And so strengthening all of those things, the things that you can do. And, you know, Karen, um, what, what number are you at now with, with this Joanne? Joanne, sorry. I am, um, I'm kind of, I'm, I think I'm clear. I can't think of yeah. a number. You, see, you know yeah. what happens like, I wanted to uh, sign up myself for a course, um, and I needed a certain amount of money. And I was thinking about it yesterday. I said, God, please, I need some money to sign up for this course. And boom, I have this offer, this money. And it's like, I'm not used to getting things so fast. (laughs) I (laughs) I love it. Yeah. Yeah. And and that, yeah. (laughs) And get We we are are that powerful, right? Yeah. We are that powerful. And that's, I I, I really think the things that are changing is how quickly we can manifest things, which is what's so important about what our focus is, right? So if our focus is is on what we don't want to be, we unknowingly start to build that that in a way. That's not to say if our focus is only on what we want to be, then that is guaranteed to happen because there are things under the surface, right? Things that are below our awareness that influence what happens. So when things aren't working out the way we want them, rather than getting frustrated and angry, or we can get frustrated and angry, right? And then have that moment where we just get to get curious and, and, and start to say, hey, maybe there's something here that's in there for me to explore. Maybe there's something that I don't know about myself. And like participating in radio shows like this, getting sessions, going to courses, widening the way we view our lives helps us to get insight about ourselves, talking to a friend sometimes, right? Where they can see some aspect of you that you are actually not seeing because you're stuck in one other story. And then guess what happens? Exactly what you're having, right? You start to manifest really quickly. It's such a beautiful uh, share. Yeah, I love manifesting in this way. Um, Like um, a lot of people will will say to themselves, well, I'm going to go on that holiday once I get the money. Mm -hmm. And I like to say, I'm going on that holiday. So, of course, the universe needs to provide me with that money. Yeah. It's, it's and that's a, that's a very feminine energy, right? And that that very very much is sort of uh, dead in the face against what many of us have been raised to believe, which is that business orientation, where you know you don't you don't do that. And I'm finding more and more that I have the exact same experience that when I just start putting the energy into who and what and the feeling and sensations I want to experience, what needs to happen materializes. And my cat Pearl is is very excited here. <laughs> you may hear her purring here. She's trying to um, trying to share the mic here with me. <laughs> ah, I love it. Hello, yeah. 
<laughs> so thank, thank you, Joanna, for calling in. Yes, thanks thank so much, so Joanna. Much. Yes, Have a great you. week. <laughs> Have a great day as well. Thank <laughs> you. Too. Yeah, I'm, yeah. <laughs> I'm sending some of that purring energy um, out there. <laughs> I love it to the community. Yeah. It's so fantastic. And it's funny that she was coming in to let us know feminine energy and, and, and sort of opening to the unknown, right? The idea that we can sort of flow with it, we can go with it, we can move, we can follow, we can explore, we can uh, go with our wild nature and explore what that has to offer us can be a really powerful. And I feel like the cat was... Pearl is sort of saying, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's how she is. Like when she's really excited, she has to climb up and put her two purrs in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So maybe we should take the next caller. Carter, I sure. think uh, we have another one. Yeah. We... All right, doing... Trisha, you are on the air with Colette and Karen. Good morning, ladies. <clears throat> Good morning. Welcome Good morning. to the Truth is Funny radio show. <laughs> Thank you for taking my call. Um, I, too, have kind of shifted my, my focus for right now for a different job. I was called in to do a receptionist job, um, and I used to paint cars. So this is a big, <laughs> huge change. Wow. And, um, I love this. So, I love this. I do, too. Um, it feels so good. It feels really strong. Yeah. But I've been having issues. Um, with store, sore stomach since um, layer two. Okay. And so, okay. So we're gonna um, like get a, a baseline, right? So zero um, to ten. Ten being definitely a ten today. Okay. And would you? How would you describe the stomach pain? Um. Kind of almost like you're like a a balloon that's like expanded too much and like oh. a interesting. Hey, um, <clears throat> Karen, we were just talking about this before the show, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you it, picking it, up here? I, you know, it's funny. Uh, uh, it, it sort of feel to me the first thing that comes into is that it's sort of misinformation, meaning that you're coming into your power, and that expanded feeling mm. is uncomfortable. Yes, uh, I got the it, word expansion also. Yeah, and it's yeah. like uh, so many of us um, are realizing it and experiencing it on a deeper level and really making choices to be, un unknowing choices, to be a, a real part of the earth. And it's whatever's up for us next, right? I, and part of that means making a commitment to our expansion, in what, however that may show up, and which is kind of what you started with, which is you, you know, you're, you're, you've moved from one area of life that you've been in for a long time into something new. But at the same time, we're not always uh, supporting our bodies to let go of what it's ready to let go of in order to fully receive and vibrate from that expansion, expanded state. So I'm kind of just feeling that the lymph system is... Uh, really kind of caught in old patternings and old ideas of that it's not safe to let go. And so we just want to sort of strengthen that lymphatic system. Uh, I need a moment or two to come up with what it needs to come up with. Okay, uh, so I'll... You, had you, go you, collect. you work on yeah. that and I'll... Um, because, because Karen and I were just talking about this and, you know, because I work with so many people from um, different countries, actually... Um, what happens is it's really interesting that the dynamics that the external forces coming in are similar regardless of what country someone is in. And a lot of people at this time, there's just a lot of astrological influences. We've got the equinox today. We've got the um, we've 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 had a lot of solar flares in the last couple um, two, three days. And uh, solar flares have a tendency to make people feel a little bit dizzy, nauseated sometimes if people are sensitive to those energies and to really um, um, getting people kind of like on it almost like when we were at the psychic fair on Sunday, it literally one of the other practitioners there 
um, who was doing readings said to me when I walked in, is it just me or do, does it feel like we're on a ship? And I said, yeah, no, you could feel the energy in the building. It felt like um, it was, you know, it was just the, the, the vibration was so high. And so I'm getting that what's going on with this is many, many things. But I have found in the last while that astrological um, effects are really affecting people. Um, politics are really um, also affecting people. Um, you know, the external forces, the um, what I call the... Um, the dirty D's, <laughs> the seven tactics. That, and so, we, so we're going to strengthen that for everybody 100%. And we're going to get that strong 100% for, for you, Tricia, that you um, are able to handle these energies and uh, you are able to handle, and the word handle keeps coming up. So getting a handle on things, handling things, being handled. And so, yeah, being handled goes really weak for you. So um, it's coming up. There's just a bunch of underlying um, issues about uh, family stuff, too. So we're going to strengthen you to all the times that you feel like you were kind of um, not in not not feeling like you were doing what you needed to do in your family is what's going weak. So we're going to strengthen you to that and also recognizing that the job isn't family. Um, a job uh, is actually different than family. So, getting that all clear, um, Karen, where where are you? Yeah. At? So, so where, what came up for me um, uh, is is really your um, the part of you that's still holding on that is connected to old patterns and old behaviors. And we want to. I, I felt like I needed to make a connection. You know, our body is constantly communicating, and every piece needs to connect connect with every other piece in order to work together as a whole and be the most efficient, right? So the areas that are going to support you are the lymphatic system connecting into your microbiome. And the microbiome is being upgraded to this idea of tolerance to um, unrecognized um, energies. Let's just call it that, right? To tolerance to unrecognized and unrealized potential, then to the appendix. And the appendix is sort of known to carry all of the bugs that support the proper functioning of our brain and bringing them to life. So it's like the microbiome in your gut is going to be connecting to some new bugs that are going to really support a diverse population to support you to have a diverse outlook uh, that you are engaging in in life. Then bringing in your uh, cerebral spinal fluid, same thing, lymphatic flow, uh, purification and cleansing of the entire nervous system and then to the bladder for the elimination system. And really what came up is drinking lots of water for the next couple of days and just helping flush out your body on a physical level as it meets on an equal and renew and rejuvenates on the same level that your vibrational frequency of your non-physical, right? Your thoughts, your concepts, and your ideas, the aspect of you that led you to these changes and then meeting that with your physical body. And then one other thing came up. Did you say you're a receptionist? Yeah. yeah. So what was coming up for that was um, being receptive to new sensations and feelings. Ah, I love this. Yeah. So we're <laughs> this is beautiful, up. Trisha. How, are, how is your stomach right now? Is there any change? Um, it is about, um, I'd say about four. A four now? So, um yeah. We're just going to strengthen for like what's coming up is like. Do you the feel thought, that collect that yeah. hiding energy? Do you feel that yeah. coming up? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's almost like um, a part of you is wanting to express yourself. Yeah. And um, I'm, I'm getting that you're going to be an amazing receptionist. Well, you already um, are. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. like yeah, that this is like, wow, <laughs> this is such a change from what you were doing before. So we're just going to strengthen that, um, you know, like that, um, Beautiful changes. <laughs> a lot of times what happens, it's what's coming up weak for you right now is just like you don't like surprises because you've had some surprises that are not that much fun. So we're going to strengthen that for you, like um, good surprises. Um, yeah. 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 And, and, and I just for you to the, the all of those are the weaknesses. But keep in mind the incredible masterpiece of the natural intelligence of your body mind to let go of 
old weaknesses, old patterns, old habits, and not necessarily needing to identify them through connecting through this, the in incredible intelligence of your body mind is going to do what it needs to do. So anytime you're kind of having an old thought that you're stuck, um, play with how you can reframe that. Right. And some days that's a walk in the woods. Some days that's exercise. Some days it's listening to a radio show, getting a session, uh, taking a bath, getting your nails done. You know, it's going to show up differently. But continuing to cultivate the way you uniquely nurture and nourish yourself to support yourself, to continually receive and be receptive to the new sensations and feelings and ideas and experiences that you are opening to in your life. Yeah, and I just, uh, I can feel um, you sliding down to a two now, and it's kind of coming up that um, all the times that you've had, um, you know, that you've started new jobs, how many times would you estimate that was in your lifetime? Mm, 20, 30, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So, see, what's coming up is your concern because you're thinking, oh, like, you know, um, of the past times you've done it, but let's get you strong to recognizing that, hey, I'm good at this. <laughs> and um, that, you know, you, you know, you're, this may be a new job for you, but it's actually, um, um, you're, it, you're, it's not new for you to go to start a new job. And so um, your fears around that are, um, could be a million times less than the average person that maybe only ever had one or two jobs in their whole life. Okay. Some people tend to hang on to a line of work for years and years and years. And I found this quite often um, that people, um, sometimes what happens is to get out of a job like or out of a career, especially if they're really good at it, they have to become allergic to something about it or they have to become sick because of it so that they can let it go and move on. And so we're going to just strengthen this that, you know, um, starting a new job is not a sickening thing. <laughs> there we go. Mm. Uh, where are you at, Karen? I'm feeling like we've done. I feel like it's yeah. uh, yeah, it we're where good. we need to be, yeah. How are you feeling? Um, feeling probably about a two. Two. Good. Yeah, that yeah. will just keep un unwinding itself. I'm getting that after um, Pearl put her two cents in. It's that perception card. <laughs> 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 so we want to have good perception. <laughs> there you go. Thank you for calling in, Trish. Yes, thank you, Trisha. Have a great day and a great week. And. We'll hear from you, you again so if, if you feel call. called to. Okay. Yes. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay, so here we are. Uh, I think it's time for us to take a break. Time sure really flies. So you're listening to The Truth is Funny on Transformation Talk Radio. I am Karen Benton, and I am filling in for Colette today, but my guest happens to be Colette. Yeah, strange <laughs> as it may be. When we return, we'll continue with these incredibly riveting conversations about conflict and challenge and courage and hope and the unknown and trust. Call in at 1-800-930-2819, and we will make some shift happen. The knowledge book currently studied in 39 countries and 15 languages around the world accelerates our evolution, takes us out of depression, offers universal truth, protects us, and makes us stronger, both spiritually and physically. So if you are interested in the knowledge book, visit usa.thenowledgebook.net and tune in to the Knowledge Book Radio with Marge Potasik on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Are you traveling most of your day? Do you want to take Transformation Talk Radio with you anywhere you go? Well, guess what? There's an app for that. Just go to the App Store on your Apple device or the Google Play Store on your Android and search Transformation Talk Radio. Catch all of our live shows no matter where you are. Thanks for listening. 
in to The Truth is Funny with Colette Stephan each Wednesday at 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This hit show will have you thinking outside the box and riding the wave of infinite potential. Join Colette on the Higher Self Network, inspiring listeners to shine their brilliance and ensure success while roaring with laughter as they recognize the humor of the giant cosmic joke. Visit The Truth is Funny. Com. Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit jenroyster.com for more information. Introducing the Lucid Planet, a digital gathering place featuring cutting-edge, high-vibrational content that will empower and inspire you to become the greatest version of yourself. Visit the Lucid Planet today to stimulate your mind, body, and soul as you connect with a global community of like-minded people. The Lucid Planet is edited by renowned psychologist and author, Dr. Kelly Neff, who is here to help you cope with anxiety, connect to your higher purpose, uncover your true passions, and live your dreams. Dr. Kelly's fresh, compassionate perspective emphasizes growth, transformation, healing, and thriving. Even in the face of adversity, say goodbye to bad news and low vibrational media for good and become part of the larger collective of people working together to navigate the global shift of consciousness and transform the world from within. Join the planet, the Lucid Planet. Visit thelucidplanet.com. Welcome home. We are back, and this is Karen Benton, and I'm filling in for Colette today, and I have Colette here with me as the guest on the show. We That's because we dis- love working with each other so much. Yes. <laughs> uh, we have been discussing conflict and conflict resolution in all different realms of life and how to reframe the story that says that this is in any way a negative experience in life and opening to the opportunities and what's available to us when we approach it from a new paradigm, right? A new way. And what you might be noticing on the show is that we're exploring what we call energy work, or there's lots of different ways. You know, you're looking at the shadow, you're looking at the unrecognized influences that are contributing to the experience that's in front of you. And Colette, you had some, um, some case studies to share of experiences of callers that have called in the past. And I would love to share that with you. Yeah, I just love that because Joanna has called in in the past and she was living actually, she wasn't in England, she was in Poland and um, managed to get herself to England and then managed to get herself the flat exactly what she wants. And now she's um, in this other space where she's taking Um, you know, moving into, oh, like it is that easy to get another position if I want to. And, and Trisha has called in last, I think a couple of weeks ago, asking for um, um, shifts in energy regarding getting a new position at work or getting, finding new work. So I love this. And I just thought I'd point out that we did have someone call in. um, I think it was two shows ago with Phil and her husband had been in a horrible accident and just wanted to report that he's doing very well still right now. He has to have, you know, some surgery on his um, head because of his eye socket, but all in all, he's, you know, he's doing really well. So I just thought I'd let people know that. That's fantastic, because especially for people that are on the show once a month, or you know, you might not know how the outcome is for people, and it's great to know as a community how we are sharing and exploring and upgrading and up leveling and changing our lives from what many are uh, believed to be is impossible approaches, right? Approaches that are not effective because they're joyful and they're fun and they're easy and they're light, and you don't have to engage in any physical testing to do it, right? There you go. (laughs) No no colonoscopies required on this radio show. (laughs) It looks like we we have another caller here. About to say, yeah. So we have another caller. Uh, Carter, if you could connect her in. Roberta, you are on the air. Thank you. Hi, Roberta. Welcome to the Truth is Funny show. Hello. 
Hi, Hello. Roberta. Uh, I just wanted to update. Uh, um, uh, Colette worked on a family situation last week where my mother-in-law was dying, and uh, the uh, my daughter didn't talk to her father, and uh, my husband didn't talk to his mother. And she passed yesterday. And Colette, because of all the work that you had done, um, people made uh, the father and the daughter um, had some meaningful communication after five years of not talking to each other. Yay! (laughs) Yay! That's beautiful. My my request today is if you could just strengthen... um, uh, all the family dynamics to continue that meaningful uh-huh. discussion because okay, there's so a lot of uh, there's a lot of yeah. financial work that has to be. Yeah, the, so we're gonna get this strong for for you um, and for them. We don't have a whole lot of time, but Karen, you know, it's coming up. Like first and foremost, let's strengthen everybody that um, you know to this. Uh, woman who's across the veil now and recognizing that she still is in communication with the family. Um, She may not have communicated very well while she was on this earth, but she's in a very good communication center now. (laughs) She's with God. (laughs) So um, we're just going to strengthen that. (laughs) And like that, 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 that energy would just, you know, flow through the family because she's the matriarch that has just yeah. passed and gone. It's coming up. She wants everybody to know she's, uh, I don't know if, what, if she has a religion or whatever, but that she's gone through the pearly gates and she's got a big smile on her face. I can just see it. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. Well, it's like the, it feels like the experience uh, planted a seed for the entire family to recognize the power of non-physical communication, right? Communication that can happen beyond the written or spoken word and building that uh, possibility of growth in the family, right? That you were aware that the changes that you were instituted by your exchange with Colette on a, was it on a radio show? Whatever planted this seed for this unfolding and to start to bloom on a really deep way, that possibility being utilized in a deeper way for every family member that's here on the earth and outside of the uh, earth plane and the flow of exchange and information to go from both sides with ease to explore the life experience you're all here to have. And I'm getting um, just this really beautiful, warm, from the heart energy. And I'm just getting that um, this woman, when she was on the earth, wasn't that good at uh, expressing herself in the words that she wanted to use, but she is sending a very clear message here that, um, you know, uh, she's saying love and unconditional, like, uh, like as if, um, you know, when people are um, making that transition from birth or death, they, they're very close to source energy. And so it's much easier to love. And I found this when I was in ceremony, um, wow, you know, like, it, 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 it's just like such a beautiful feeling to be with, um, to be with source. It's just, it's so incredible. And so she's, she's wanting everybody, um, to recognize that, you know, if you want to have peace on earth, then you have to have peace within yourself. That's the message that I'm getting directly from this beautiful woman <laughs> from the other side. And she's a lot more, um, friendly now. <laughs> so how are you feeling there? Yeah. Uh, I, I'm feeling uh, very, uh, I'm feeling a lot better. And I just wanted to say that before you, you pulled four dragon cards uh-huh. it, it, last, last week, and it was, um, um, they were all spot on. Okay, oh, I, I was love it. Of, I was surprised at the divorce card because uh-huh. when he came home that day, he was totally transformed. A different person walked through the door. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it's brilliant, isn't it? I love it. <laughs> Thank yeah. you so much, hey, Karen. Yeah, you know, yeah. Karen, we only have like two minutes or something left. <laughs> so maybe we should just bring in this one caller. We have one last caller. Okay. Hello? Shayla, you're on the air. Hi, welcome to the Truth is Funny talk show. What can we help you with? Hello. <laughs> um, I recently have had trouble with um, my weight, and it has been a very, very mental thing that I would like some insight on. All right, we've got like one minute here, so um, I'm going to um, strengthen this for you. I can feel this. It's um, What age are you? 17. Yeah, you just are getting a little bit weak to being an adult. Don't worry about this. <laughs> it's coming up that it's a, a passing phase. Karen, we're going to have to get off the air now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, thank you so much for calling in. We will continue to work on you a little bit just as we're getting off the air, but we appreciate you uh, calling in and sharing that. And, you know, for the community out there, thank you so much for uh, participating with us today and for all the callers and listeners that will be out there in the future. Um, thank you for uh, participating in growing this new approach and this up-leveled approach and powerful way to change and explore and expand your life. Colette, thank you so much for being a uh, a guest and a host and a everything that you are <laughs> here on the show with us. Uh, I don't think, do you want to share your information one last time? No, we don't have time and it's all good. I just wanted to say thank you for co-hosting the show and I really look forward to listening to you do more shows. I'm really enjoying that process. <laughs> thank you. So it's a pleasure to connect with all of you. A big thank you to all and we'll see you next time. Bye for now. You've been listening to The Truth Is Funny with Colette Steffen. Tune in to The Truth Is Funny with Colette Steffen each Wednesday at 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Join Colette on the Higher Self Network as she provides energetic shifts and consistent results in every area of life, inspiring listeners to shine their brilliance and ensure success while roaring with laughter as they recognize the humor of the giant cosmos joke. The truth is funny. Visit the truth is for more information. That's the truth is funny.com.